Okay, what we're going to be doing is demonstrating flow through the FACO system. What I have set up here is the Alcon Centurion, and I have the machine already primed, ready to go. I have my graduated cylinder that we're going to use to time and look how much flow per minute we get from the system. I've set up my pressure on this particular unit to 40 for interocular pressure. However, it's going to vary that depending upon the lack of uh, restriction of the flow. So we've got the machine set up. I have my patient eye level set to zero, which is occurring right about this level. So kind of even with the 100, but that's where I'll have my tip of the tubing placed. So let's get started with that. Let me grab my foot pedal, change this around. Let's see if this is working. Yep, we got it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take this tubing, the irrigation line, place it in here, right at the same level as the patient eye level. I'm going to press the foot pedal for one minute and we'll see how many cc's of fluid we get for that one minute. If it's filling up very quickly, I might only do 30 seconds and we'll just double the flow. So I got my timer ready to go, everything's set. I will press the foot pedal here and we're going. So you can see it filling, we're at 50 seconds. 42 seconds, 39, looks like we're going to stop it right at 30 seconds. There's 30 seconds. So what do we have? Looks like we have a hundred and if I take my fingers here and do a measurement, it looks like that's 30. So we have about approximately 130 cc's of fluid in 30 seconds. So we double that and that makes it 260 cc's with the way we have this set up. Our next step is to put the handpiece on and do the same flow again. So here I'll put it in here. So we have a needle in here which shouldn't affect it. But now I've got this restriction of the flow through this tubing and through this opening here and let's do another 60 seconds. Reset my timer and get it right over the foot pedal and we're going. It's 40 seconds now. And we're at, there we go, we're at one minute. So we can see just by putting the handpiece in place, we have 100 and approximately 30, so approximately 135 cc's with the handpiece in place. So we'll put our tip cap sleeve on. I have approximately one millimeter sticking out, so we have that on there. Now what we're going to do is measure the flow with the tip cap sleeve in place. We did it once just by the irrigation line, then with the hand piece, which almost cut it in half. And now we're going to put the tip cap sleeve on and measure it. So this will give us the flow through this little needle and sleeve assembly. We'll set it for one minute. And we're starting now. Four seconds. Six. 
16 seconds. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So, what do we have? We now have 75 cc's of fluid with the restriction of the tip cap sleeve on here. So you can see what's really reducing the flow is the handpiece itself and the tip cap sleeve. So 70 cc's or plus of fluid flow without any resistance is how the irrigation um, system is set up with the bags that squeeze it. So what I wanted to demonstrate though was that every time we add a restriction to it the flow rate is cut down. Now I'm going to do the same test without the vacuum line on here. I'm thinking that it possibly could have pulled fluid from the flow and a reason for doing this particular test the way we are is so I can get an idea of what I need to do to make this work for us in the future. All right, ready to begin. And and we're coming up to 30 seconds right now. And we see we got 35 cc's. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And what do we end up with? Approximately 73 cc's of fluid flow. That demonstrates that the restriction for the handpiece and the needle tip cap sleeve virtually cut the flow in half each time because we had approximately 130, 135 without the tip cap sleeve and we had approximately 240 without the handpiece in place.